today we shall discuss some basic rules for derivatives that is the derivatives for standard functions now these formula they have to be on your tips if you want to excel in the exercise of derivatives now the first formula states that derivative of x power n is equal to n x power n minus 1 this is called the power rule what you have to do basically is just take n that is the power put it in the beginning out here and the original function x power n becomes x power n minus 1 so whenever you get the function derivative in the form of x power n bring the power to the beginning write it right here n will come as it is out here and the power originally which was n the function will get transformed and you will get n minus 1 so it's very simple let's take the example if derivative of x square so what will you do the power 2 comes in the beginning 2 comes here and the power of x gets reduced by 1 so it is 2 x power 2 minus 1 so this stands for the answer as 2x if the question states d by dx x power 3 so this 3 will come in the beginning right and the original power of x which is 3 it will get reduced by 1 so the answer will be 3 x power 2 this uh, power 3 uh, it will get reduced by 1 so the answer will be 3 x square right now if the question is d by dx x what is the derivative of x answer is 1 right now the next question states what is the derivative of under root of x now if it is under root of x we can very well write it derivative of x power 1 upon 2 now we will apply the power rule the power will come in the beginning 1 upon 2 x power 1 upon 2 minus 1 so 1 upon 2 minus 1 comes out to be minus 1 upon 2 so the answer is 1 upon 2 x power minus 1 upon 2 now if you want to make this power as positive just take it in the denominator your answer will be 1 upon 2 under root of x okay so the derivative of under root of x is basically 1 upon 2 under root of x now let's say that the question states derivative of 1 upon x power 4 upon 9 now first of all take this x in the numerator answer is x power minus 4 upon 9 applying the power rule first of all bring this power in the beginning minus 4 upon 9 will be picked up from here and it will come in the beginning out here minus 4 upon 9 multiplied by x power minus 4 upon 9 minus 1 so minus 4 upon 9 minus 1 comes out to be minus 13 upon 9 so the answer is Minus 4 upon 9 x power minus 13 upon 9. So these were few examples of x power n is equal to n x n minus 1. Now, if the question is derivative of c x power n, this means some number is multiplied by the original function. In that case, this number c will stand as it is in the answer. but you will apply the power rule see here c is multiplied by x power n so the answer to the derivative will be c n x power n minus 1 what i mean to say is the power, the derivative of x power n you will calculate it the way i showed you in the last slide x power n minus 1 multiplied by n this is the same but this c since it is multiplied in the function so will it be multiplied in the answer as well so if this number multiplied by the function it will come out as it is in the answer let's take an example the derivative of 7 x power 2 right now 7 the multiplied by the function it will remain as it is in the answer but now you find the derivative of x power 2 which is 2 x power 2 minus 1 so the derivative of x power 2 is 2x now this 7 will stand like this only the answer is going to be 7 2s are 14 multiplied by x so we conclude that if something is some number is being multiplied by the function it will stand as it is in the answer okay now what i want you to be very careful is the number is being multiplied by the function 
if this number is being added to the function then it is a different scenario then it will not stand as it is in the answer this c will feature in the answer only if this c is multiplied by the given function so is here in the example 7 being multiplied by the function 7 will be there in the answer as well now what is the derivative of any constant number the derivative of any constant number comes out to be 0 so the d by dx 7 is 0 right now how does it happen let's see derivative of 7 can be written as derivative of 7 multiplied by x power 0 because we know that x power 0 here this number this means 1 so we haven't done anything 7 is being multiplied by x power 0 right now if you apply power rule to x power 0 what will you do this 7 will stand as it is in the answer first of all bring power in the beginning 0 comes here x power 0 minus 1 so anything multiplied by 0 the answer is 0 so this is how this formula is being framed which states that the derivative of any constant term is always 0 now derivative of ax plus b whole to the power n what will you do is c it is just the same as x power n what we did in the previous slides was bring power in the beginning and the power becomes in the beginning multiplied by ax plus b whole power n minus 1 the power get reduced by 1 this is also the same technique but it will be additionally multiplied by the this a which is being multiplied to x the multiplicative of the term x will be featured here in the answer again so i repeat the answer will be n ax plus b whole power n minus 1 multiplied by a so whatever term is being multiplied by x this will come out here in the answer let us take an example derivative of 2x plus 5 whole power 4 first apply the power rule 4 being the power will come in the beginning 4 2x plus 5 raised to the power 3 because the power 4 will get reduced by 1 the power will be 3 multiplied by what is being multiplied by x here it is 2 right so 2 will feature here in the answer so now what you do is multiply 4 by 2 you will get 8 2x plus 5 raised to the power 3 clear another example what is the derivative of 2x plus 5 raised to the power minus 3 by 7 so applying the power rule my this power it will come in the beginning minus 3 upon 7 2x plus 5 raised to the power 3 minus 3 upon 7 minus 1 so the answer is minus 10 upon 7 clear multiplied by the multiplicative of x which is 2 so this 2 will get featured here in the answer the next step please multiply minus 3 upon 7 by 2 so the answer comes out to be minus 6 upon 7 2x plus 5 whole raised to the power minus 10 by 7 now what is the derivative of log of x to the base a see please listen very carefully the question states log of x to the base a what will you do in this scene this answer comes out to be 1 upon x log of e to the base a so what you have to do is just take the reciprocal of the term x multiplied by the base here also the a the base will remain the same here also a but the number log of e here it was log of x to the base a the derivative of such term will be i repeat 1 upon x log of e to the base a so just reciprocate this term x it will come out to be 1 upon x and substitute this x by the term e out here the base a it will remain the same in the question and in the answer clear now let us take an example what is the derivative of log of x to the base 5 answer is going to be 1 upon x log of e to the base 5 clear now what if the base a is equal to e here you see that the base is a so we also took the base a in the answer as well now if the base a is equal to e in that case derivative of log of x see 
if the base is not mentioned in these questions it is understood that the base is e so derivative of log of x is equal to 1 upon x how does this answer come out to be we take it 1 upon x log of e to the base e right and log of e to the base e is basically 1 so the answer is 1 upon x now listen carefully here again this this base this point if nothing is mentioned it is considered to be e right so here i asked you to change this term as i put the ticket in the first formula here you will replace x by e hai na now this is this space shows this is e and so this space also is occupied by e and in our terminology log of e to the base e is considered 1 so this means that this term is 1 so 1 upon x multiplied by 1 answer comes out to be 1 upon x so if you are given the question what is the derivative of log of x the answer is 1 upon x now derivative of a power x in the previous slide it was different and in this slide it is different generally students get confused so please make the things very clear if the question is of the form a power x right answer to the derivative of a power x is a power x as it is multiplied by the log of a very simple formula let's take an example derivative of 3 power x it is going to be 3 power x as it is multiplied by log of 3 right now let's complicate another question derivative of a power mx now this can be reframed as a power m in bracket power x right you took x out of the bracket basically the question remains the same a power mx can be rewritten as a power m bracket x right now when you get it a power x you write a power x as it is multiplied by log of a now the same do here write a power mx as it is multiplied by log of a power m right now this m log of a power m can be written as m log of a so your answer comes out to be a power mx multiplied by m log of a now what is the derivative of e power x derivative of e power x is always e power x as it is very simple formula if something is being multiplied to e power x it will get featured in the answer as it is example derivative of 7 e power x will be 7 e power x i repeat this term has to be multiplied by e power x not added or subtracted from this term if it is multiplied to e power x answer is coming to be 7 e power x very simple now these six formulas on this slide they have to be on your tips kindly memorize them rectify them whatever you want to do but the nutshell is that they have to be on your tips derivative of sin x is cos of x okay derivative of cos x is minus sin x please don't get confused if you have to take the derivative of sin answer is cos x and if you have to take the derivative of cos it will be sin x with the negative sign okay now derivative of tan x is sec square x clear derivative of cos x is minus cos x cot x derivative of sec x is sec x as it is multiplied by tan of x derivative of cot x is minus cos x square x so the easier way to learn is just two at a time learn the formulas two at a time see sin x is cos x and derivative of cos x is minus sin of x you take 3 days to learn these six formulas first day you just learn sin x cos x and cos x is minus sin x right now derivative of tan x is going to be sec square x right and derivative of cot x is minus cos x square x okay now derivative of cos x cos x is minus cos x cot x and derivative of sec x is sec x tan x now here i would like to give you a hidden hint that the derivative of the term if it starts with c 
the answer is going to be negative c derivative of cos x starts with c answer is negative derivative of cosec x starts with c answer is negative derivative of cot x starts with c answer is negative so here we come to the end of the article all the formulas discussed today have to be on your tips if you want to score well in the derivative section if you have any doubts please feel free to ask me in the comments section like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching stay safe stay blessed